Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, well, we're gonna actually be doing a fair amount of working with Yusuke. Hey buddy, what's happening? Hmm. Hello. By the way. <laughs> kind of abrasing what he says a bit, because he repeats himself constantly. <laughs> you must have a wealth of time. You know, I would not have expected my slump to be so stubborn. I will have to take some extreme measures. How extreme? Please. I will need your help again. Okay to join me? Uh, just as long as we don't do anything dangerous, bro. Like going to Mementos again. Even though that was kind of a joke. I'm yeah, let's do it. I owe you one. It seems the answer have been right under my nose the whole time. You'll see soon enough. Follow me. Okay. So this time we're... What? Going back yes. to Matarame's? This place has not changed in the slightest. Yeah, even after all this time. God, that was a long time ago, huh? It's a little nostalgic. Indeed it is. I haven't come back here since I moved away. Hmm. <sighs> the truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I'm no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spent most of my young life in this very house. That is why we've come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrepit walls. Uh, alright, but isn't that kind of breaking and entering? By coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. I, I can get behind that. Sometimes I watch my old videos to get inspired. What? It, it won't open? No, I surely left it unlocked. How could this be? Uh, what? The door's jammed? Uh, suppose it was quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even when I was a pupil here. It seems now it's finally broken. Bummer. Uh, we could call Morgana to get it fixed. <laughs> He's pretty good with this no. stuff. That is a nice idea, but I am unfortunately not the owner of the house. I cannot call a locksmith. I wish I could fix it myself. Man, I'll get some WD-40, we'll be straight. My struggle with mechanisms as complex as this. I do not have the steady hand required to mend them. Hmm. All right, man, I'm pretty proficient. Oh. I gotcha. You're capable of fixing it? You never cease to amaze me. Yeah, just give me a second, get his WD-40 open. Yeah, there we go. Just need some grease. Let us be off. Let us head inside. Where did you get that can? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, I see. It's kind of empty. The police confiscated everything. You know, I lived here not long ago, yet it feels almost like the distant past at this point. Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Not a Pleasant memory? Ah, and over here was a bookshelf filled to the brim with various tomes. It contained art compilation books for the most part, but there are a few manga tucked away as well. Hmm, sounds fun. At times I would take a break from my art to hide and read them. This is also where we would gather to eat when the atelier was still had a large pupil count. Sensei in particular, fond of salty food, so... Uh, <sighs> Sensei? Uh, what am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? Uh, dude, it's... You're just being, you know... Sentimental. It's, it's okay, don't be hard on yourself. Uh, yes, my apologies. The truth of the matter is... I used to paint in this room. And I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move on their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grime beneath. Th that's okay, uh... After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I 
needed to do whatever it took to validate my autistic ability. In that search of meaning, darkness took hold of me. Jeez. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate, which I had so deeply despised in Madarame. Dude, it's, it's okay. You're not like him, man. You know, boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you. That one night at LeBlanc, he said he didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Yeah, that's true. Why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? I mean, I don't know. I'm sure he was not 100% evil. No, I, I don't know, dude. I'm not him. Agreed. A fair point. That may be something only Madarame himself is privy to. Though, perhaps he, even he doesn't know. <sighs> even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities presented to me. The humble house in that loathsome palace. The kind teacher and the fiendishly deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What then of my search for pure beauty? Hello? Oh god. Is someone there? I'm coming in! What the- This is a problem. Uh could that be the police? Ah, I was wondering who could have been in here. Uh, you're the man from the exhibition. Hello, I'm here too. Indeed. Thank you for our conversation back there. More importantly though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Well, uh... Are you perhaps still caught in your slump? Yes. Oh. <laughs> How'd you know that? Oh my god! <laughs> I know a great deal about you, you Skankoon. Well, you've made a name for yourself by patterning your work after the beautiful, de detailed Sayuri. But the painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles, perhaps? Uh, kind of. Uh. If you'd like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. Yeah, no kidding. Holy, don't. Uh, I. Most of your painting was done while living in this residence, correct? Your current lack of patron must be what's holding you back. Please, take my card. I've made a living investing in promising young artists like yourself, Yusuke Kun. Okay. Oh. Director of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akio Kawanabe. It's a lovely card. <laughs> but why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibition. Well, because I feel you have talent. And how my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle interests you, we could talk further at a later date. That doesn't sound too bad. As for today, I have business I must attend to, but hope to hear from you soon. The business is my wife's dinner. I'll be going. <laughs> yes. The Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. And it was all because you opened the door for me, bro. I can't thank anybody. Thank WD-40. It seems good luck is simply a characteristic of I yours. your debt. You have my thanks, leader. Aw. I'm happy for you, man. I mean, dude. I know it sounds kind of shady after what just happened, but nah, this could be really right. nice for Yusuke. And maybe help him in a future career. Also, now Yusuke can whack us with a fan. Heck yeah! Shall we return home? I must be going now. I'd like to think on this some more. See Makes you. sense. Man. That's one of my more favorite events. We get a real personal look at Yusuke's, you know, like life. It's nice. Kind of nostalgic. Secondhand, and I lost my composure today. I apologize. The emotions I felt in that house still 
remain within me to this day. Yeah, I do think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all of this. Yeah, man. I'm glad I was there for you. By the way, that gentleman. What's your impression of him? Well, we met him for like, I don't know, 35 seconds, but... Can't say he was totally evil or uh, wise. I had no idea he was the director of the art support. But he definitely had a certain presence to him. And he was even able to instantly pinpoint my weakness. Usually only shadows can do that. He's certainly no ordinary individual. <laughs> As someone with neither a home nor a patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I'm able to find a way out of my slump once I can finally focus on drawing. And painting. And sculpture. Yusuke, you gotta master all of them. In any case, Miss deserves serious thought. They may come to you for advice again. Psst, that's totally cool with me, bro. Then again, I can't help but think this almost feels too good to be true. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being kind of suspicious of adults. But for tonight, guys, we actually want to do a little visit to the airsoft shop. Because it's time for work. EY texted us, but well, I already knew that. So that's why I'm here. Hey, buddy. The guns are going to melt. Heat outside ain't normal. It's nice and cool inside the shop, though, huh? It's because we sell merchandise that can't take the heat. If it's too cold for you, layer up. All right. Hate to see your AC bill, though. So here, because you saw the text? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to work, man. I'm ready. There's a job I need you to do. Don't worry. It ain't that difficult. I'm sure you can handle it. And it because I have my cute pixie girl in a dress. Are you ready to do the hangman confidant? Gonna meet with a guy at the diner after this. Need you to sit close by. I'll give you the signal. Call me. The signal's when I cough. Got it. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's head over. I'm not interested in diner, so I'm gonna leave. Mokana, I need your backup, bro. What if crap goes down? I need heals. A diner, huh? I thought only old farts come to places like this. Heh, <laughs> You really changed, Mune-san. <laughs> Don't knock this place. It's pretty decent. And cheap, too. <laughs> Man, that's coming from the guy who beats the crap out of 50 rival gang members. <laughs> you don't need to exaggerate. But it was 57. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Oh, right. Uh, how's Suda-san doing? Mm, same as always. Why? What's up? Nothing. Just saw him around the other day. You know. Mm, hold up. Didn't you two cut ties when you left the family? What up with that? Why you ask him about him now? I mean, we were both young. Uh, I just figured it's about time we bury the hatchet. Can't just go and talk to him, though. Mmm, I getcha. You're still trying to uphold the code of honor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll tell him you want to meet up. Well, that's great. Don't say stupid shit like that. No, you fool. I just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's got to look like a coincidence. Uh, in that case, uh, Shubahara might work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. Shibuara, huh? <coughs> oh my god! EY sick! No, wait, I'm stupid! That's the signal! Frick, better call. Huh? You sick or something? Uh, no, nah, it's just a cold. A cold in the middle of summer? What the fr- Okay. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? Order's all wrong? My bad. We'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Gotta run. Work and stuff. Let's talk some other time, yeah? Well, wait, with the crud? I thought we were working. Ah, uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> hey. Don't hang up. Okay. Moss is still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Okay. Uh, Sora-san, it's Masa. Hello. Ewa was talking about you. I did just like you told me, though. That, the heck are you looking at? Uh, sorry, I'm... 
Uh, I was daydreaming about a girl who goes to my school or something. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's nothing. Some weird kid staring at me. He's incredibly handsome, but uh, anyway, EY probably heard about that deal of yours. And now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Not EY. No. Oh, uh, so oh, sorry. Uh no. No, no, it's just uh, Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes, I understand. Ah. Well, I got grilled. A deal? <sighs> Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. But EY what about your cold? I know a doctor, but wait, she doesn't do that anymore. Crap. <sighs> You're seriously naive, kid. <laughs> you know I was acting right. You were? Oh my god. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're gonna actually be some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. Uh, okay, I'm not sure exactly what I did. Actually, no, dude, Joker's kind of good at this, because he already did this with Sojiro as well. So maybe that's right. what EY needs us to do. Stay on the phone and record people. Wait, we did with this Ryuji also. What the crud? We're an expert. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, bring me the receipt so I can pay you back later. for it. Oh, later. Dang. He was kind of nice. He's just like, yeah, meals on me. But he's doing something weird, which I don't know, man. Hope he's not connected to Kanashiro's thugs. Mm, that is a possibility. But we need the model guns. But we also might be helping evil people. But also, he has a collection of lollipops in his like back office. Uh, yeah, that's a kind of little Easter egg. I just wanted to point that out. If you go back to the episode, you can see he eats a lot of them. It's so adorable. Well, Could a man that kawaii be evil? You tell me. Anyways, for today, guys, we're finally, finally visiting the maiden. No, not Chihaya. Ugh! Not right. How dare you compare the beautiful drink stand lady to her? I mean, okay, they're probably equal. Whatever. Different tastes for different people. Personally, I like the taste of disgusting seaweed. Give me that crap. Also, we are going to actually see Chaya in this episode. So I feel like a turd. Why would you eat after all? But oh, dump. Today's the day. Yes, we're finally maxing out a stat. Oh, frick. Well, we better get to that. But first things first, we got to pay our dues at the church. Why are we coming here? Don't worry about it. We'll find out later. Welcome, Lost Lamb. Lambs who strayed from their path and lost sight of their goals in this life are welcome here. In Bigport, I offer sorrows and advice to those who worries or who wish to reflect on their past. Hmm. This seems like hmm. a convenient place to wait a second. Do you say reflect on their past like it's a game mechanic? Yeah, this is where you can relearn some skills you might have gotten rid of. It's helpful. Wow. Kinda. That might be quite useful. Yeah, something you want to remember. Make sure you don't offend him or make him angry by brushing off his advice. By the way, you've come at a good time today, my son. We are currently accepting small donations from people who wish to support our church and its works. And if you donate, you'll receive an item suitable for the amount of your donation. Whoa. So what you're saying is this is a store where I can buy healing items. The... Repentance Ashes is very strong, as well as the Wine of Grace being a life bead for everybody. A 400% heal. Pretty dang good. But what were for you for today? The Exorcism Water. A certain individual we know actually wants this. You've done a good deed. God be with you, my son. But no returns. All right. Keep that in mind. <laughs> it's kind of a cute little way to have a shop for some of the more obscure items, but... Now that we've taken care of that, it's time to, well, actually go visit Chihaya and get our charm boosted. Chihaya, we can't keep doing this, girl. The smoothie girl's gonna get mad. I'm spending all my cash. Oh, the devil card. Whoa. Yeah, I'll get that charm. What do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh... Obvious joke is obvious! Let's go to Central Street. Because... We got a job to do. Yeah. Literally. We have a target we haven't identified. What if you went to the convenience store? I don't know. We should probably do that. It's been... Uh, like three months since... Wait, what the crud? How did I get... 
How'd I get stuck on it? Okay, friggin' Hopefully you remember how to do this. Welcome! Oh my god, you're back! I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Today's double points day. Dude, that's- that, we, we were rich? Oh. Do? Well, whatever. Must work. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so odd. So you raise your charm by listening to customers. Oh I don't give a frick. Oh, okay. They're coming in a day. Oh, that'd be so helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can finally breathe again. God dang, how hard are they working you here? Jesus. There's no end to these customers. Just keep your cool and don't forget to smile. That's the skeleton umbrella. That's a plastic umbrella. Whoa! There's a barcode on the back of the handle. Okay. Those are the black donuts. I see five donuts in there that are black as tires. Oh man, that makes me <laughs> really hungry. There's a barcode next to the section that contains origins of brown sugar. Okay. Guess I'll remember that. Oh, dang, even more. There's a sudden rush of customers as soon as Shibuya Senpai goes on break, huh? Let's just focus on finding the barcodes quickly, getting through the crowd. Yeah. Black donuts. Hmm. Where's the barcode? Uh, near the brown sugar thing? Yeah! There it is. Let's scan it. Brown sugar originated in Okinawa. It's used for Karinto too, right? I don't even know what that yeah. is, but sure. Yeah, just get the question right. You get your charm boost. <sighs> hey, you doing all right, Nanami? What's going on? Well, the thing is, I saw a cat in the road a little while back. It was injured badly. <laughs> when I got close, it got scared and ran off, dragging its leg. Anyway, I just overheard some college-aged people in our store talking. They said there was a college student living nearby who abuses animals to relieve his stress. I don't think... And then I remembered that injured cat I saw. I'm thinking maybe he's the one who hurt that cat. Do you don't think... Oh my god, that's effing disgusting. I'm gonna kill him. Let's that's see how he likes I it. Thought. I know how you feel. But violence isn't the answer. But the police can't do anything either. Without proof. I've been thinking about the cat ever since. It's hard to keep smiling. You know, the police can't do it. But do you think the Phantom Thieves could help? <clears throat> uh, maybe if they knew who to go after? <laughs> oh yeah, I think the guy's name is Kazui Subo. Don't ask how I know that. I just... Uh... Alright. I think I might be able to convince them. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't stand it if he kept hurting animals like this. Someone needs to stop him! Today. Oh, I'm sorry. It's almost the end of your shift, right? Good work. I'm still here, though. I'm always here. My god. Good work out there. Also, we got the mementos thing, which is why we came here. Oh my god. What? Yes! We did it! We're finally maxed out in charm, and we've become a debonair. Right. Thanks to Chihaya's boost. <sighs> you remember what you were talking about earlier today, right? Mm, maybe? Right. Yeah. We can't allow this guy to abuse animals. He's doing it only for stress relief? That's exactly the type of man we should punish. There's no way I'm just letting him go. <laughs> Kanzu Suboy, was it? Well, Steelers, creeps, desires, perform, can harm any more animals. Yeah! But we have to have a unanimous vote. But come on, everyone's gonna vote for this one. Like, come, seriously. <laughs> Even if you're not a cat fan, seriously. It's just... Dude. If you want st stress relief, just go watch Esper Witch Idol Master. It's a good show. I like it. I don't Man, know. It's hot. Slice of life ain't bad. <laughs> but tonight, guys, before we do our confidants, we actually need to go trade that baptismal water to your boy, Sakai, who's in, you know, Kichi Joji. You guys, you guys know this crap. Why do we keep doing this, John? You're probably asking me. I don't know. It's, it's cool new dialogue. I like him. He's not bad. Ah, it's so hot. Summer's the season for thrills. Which means the ghost-related goods will sell like hotcakes. <laughs> so, in the spirit of season, I want you to purchase some exorcism water. It has to be fresh and divine. Down on ya! I already have that. Oh, snap, we'll give us a model gun as a- Ooh! Well, since we're working with Iwa, we should probably get that, huh? Thank you! Here you go! Oh, and how godly! So this is the exorcism water. That's a precious life. We'll be saved tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be counting on you next time. All right, bro. Stay, uh, cool? No, he's wearing a sweater. What up? Wait, where the crud am I going? 
There we go. Gosh. Um. I just keep poking fun at that. Like, gosh, dude. I can't do anything if I'm not wearing shorts outside, but... To beat the heat, we gotta complete the Sun Con Fanon, and today is actually the last part. I kinda like it. It's quite uh, Please stay hydrated, by the way. Come to think of it, I haven't told you what I aspire to do. Yeah, he kinda glossed over that. It's starting to uncover various behind-the-scenes situations. I want to tell you about them. Will you... listen? Of course, bro. I mean... I've been hanging out with you every Sunday, right? Well, let's talk before the speech. All right, man. Sounds good. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I hear his grandson, Benzo, resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Oh, look at the time. I should get started. Today will be the last day I'll request help from a phantom thief. I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. I can't think of anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking, in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Thank you for everything. All right, it's time to begin. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man through a method that differs from mine. He was trying to reform the world. As you know, that is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye, because we will surely meet at the peak. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do. And I will support you. 
Because that is what I aspire to do. Way to go, Tyrannosuke! I believe in you! God dang, bro. Every time... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just so moved. Also, Yusuke, can you can you chill? We we, we talked about this before. I just want a second to talk about the Sun Arcana in P5. It seriously does not get enough love. Because, well, he's not a large-chested woman. Let's just not beat around the bush. Despite that, though, he wants to change the world in a good law kind of way with politics while we're doing our own chaotic good sort of deed. And he also discovered that, yeah, we're the leaders of the Phantom Thieves. Holy cow, how cool is that? We even directly help him. Seriously, something special about him. Not my favorite confidant. Still, something great. Anyways, Chihaya, let's go! Anyone ever tell you, Chihaya, that, like, headband of yours is really nice. We got kindness today, guys, because we're doing more work. It's a work day in the summer. Yeah, I got part-time jobs. Count them. I got like a bajillion! Or just the two. So I got a target we gotta identify. Let's do the flower job. Okay! Oh, so hey on. We're never gonna talk to you again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's kinda awkward. <laughs> what do you want from me? We're already ranked 10! Freak! I'm sorry. What do you wanna do? Flowers smell nice. Let's work. Okay. Hey. It's been like forever. Sorry I haven't showed up for work. This is actually our technically first real day of work. Middle of the summer. I didn't explain things to you last time. So, we have a happy flower day on Wednesdays and Saturdays, which is when we offer discounts on bouquets. I'll be having you choose the flowers for the bouquets, too. Okay. I might even bump up your pay if the customer really likes your arrangement. So, I know today isn't a happy flower day, but we have a bouquet request. Ah, oh, crud. It's important you do some practice. So, let's have you making one. All right, doesn't sound too tough. I can manage that. I appreciate it. We have an order for bouquet. Please handle it. Okay. The customer is looking for a large, brightly colored flowers. Pick three that fit the description. Yes, ma'am. I'm on it. Okay. Let's make sure we pick the right flowers. Gotcha. Hmm. The request is large, brightly colored. I bet light colors or white could even work too. Hmm. Good thing I'm not a dog, because I'm colorblind. <laughs> So, uh, this is very static. Don't really worry about it too much. Just pick the ones I pick and you're fine. So we're gonna start with a rose. It's a good one to have, right? And then the gold gerbera. And then the last flower. Where the dump is it? The gecko? Oh yeah, gecko orchid. What do you want to do? Easy. I love this one. Hey, hey. Hope the customer likes it. You might get fired if you don't. I'm just saying. Well, how'd we do? Our customer was extremely happy. <laughs> if you want to know more about flowers, I suggest you read Flowerpedia. Most of the flowers we sell here should be in there, so I'm sure it'll help you read it. Here. Yeah, I got that book though. Wait, yeah, I actually do, Frig. I'll give you a little bonus. <laughs> here you go. That's a big bonus, lady, I'm just saying. Well, it took us like, what, six hours of work? Be careful on your way home. Ah, oh, dang it, we didn't get the gossip. Living surrounded by flowers might be your true calling. Hmm. I could see that. Joker could be like a florist. If he really wants to, that is. Mm. Looks like we have to work here again to get info on the target. Bomber. Eh, it was still fun. I think. I don't know. If Once I had more room to, like, you know, have stuff. I'd like to have a garden one day. Rain. Could be nice. Heck, we already got plenty upstairs, but... For today, crosswood time, you know the drill. What's a show that scared the crap out of me as a child? Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! A common test of courage is the entering of scary or intimidating places. In Japan, these locations often tend to be unlit graveyards and temples. Their traditional courage testing parlor game, 100 Supernatural Tales, grew popular among samurai as a means of sharpening their nerve. Whoa. All right. Sounds like a kid's book. <laughs> That's definitely, uh... Up there, I guess. But 
Tonight, guys, it's raining, and we're kind of doing good on studying, so there's no reason to do that. Instead, let's do something fun-ish and take the Velvet Twins to go somewhere kind of fun. I mean, they're really mean to me all the time. We never have fun anywhere we go, but we'll just have to do it. All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place you wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... Somehow capable of simulating the ocean, despite being indoors. Hmm. Rumor has it that sea creatures from all around the world have gathered in this one place. What an incredulous claim. We're creating something as vast as the ocean within a building. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Yeah, we've been there like two days ago. Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. But the tickets are expensive. What do you do? So what'll it be? <sighs> Let's go to the aquarium, I guess. <laughs> oh, an aquarium, huh? Guess we'll see how well it's recreated Mother Ocean? What? That's me. a saying? Let us see just what humanity is capable of now. All right, but y'all better behave. Shoot, embarrass me outside. Y'all on it. <laughs> These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we are walking along the floor of the ocean. Hmm. <laughs> My first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me somehow. Maybe it's all the blue in the velvet room. Just a thought. Uh. Such a superficial detail would not preoccupy us. What? What? Place, Don't act like you're some sort of expert, inmate. Jeez, I'm just saying. What? Well, uh... Let's continue inspecting the premises. There are a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. Well, spoiler warning, they're all fish. So many different kinds of fish. Hmm. Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they were named jellyfish. <laughs> Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Uh, that's one word for it? Really? They <laughs> creep me out. The yeah, exhibit with the enormous fish was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. Well, that's technically not a fish, ma'am, but... Uh... What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. Oh, uh, God. No, the killer whale is clearly superior. The line was bigger. Duh. Inmate. Hey. Settle this. I don't... What the... For the record, I like the walrus. He was funny as doing, but kind of scary. That was not a choice made available to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was. <laughs> Can't you do anything right, inmate? No, I suck. I believe we've completed our inspection of the premises, correct? We've seen how oceanic life forms from all over the world have gathered here by humans. Indeed, that raises a question though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? Well, the correct answer is to fund scientific research so we can preserve animals, but you can't pick that, so. <sighs> So they construct this chamber of concrete and glass, only to confine themselves in it, alongside the creatures? The arrogance. If they admire nature so much, they should just move to a rainforest. I still don't get humans. Well, we can't move to the bottom of the ocean. Whatever the case may be, this assignment is now complete. Here's your reward. All right, well, oh crap, Masuku Kaja, hold up. And Masakunda? heck yeah. All right, it's time to head back. That was kind of brief. Hmm? I free penguin show will begin shortly at the exhibition stage. Please come and enjoy the performance. Uh, what is a penguin? Something that always has a sniper rifle. Also a bird. He's cool. Hmm. We have no particular interest in such a display. But since you look like you're dying to witness this, inmate will tag along. Let's hurry. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Can't even lie. This is kind of a cute scene. Even though it's just the one room of the aquarium, but that's fine. There's tons of unique locations in this game. I think they did a good job. Did lightning just strike the city? Oh, God. What we got today? Who is it? Hey. Yeah, we ain't doing that one. Sorry. <laughs> Cup of coffee right after some curry. 
is the best. Just be sure to drink it while it's still warm, all right? The temperature affects the flavor. Does it really? Huh. Hey. I mean, I... <sighs> so you know better than me. <laughs> oh, actually, so you will. I don't think it... I can't even take decaf, man. I'll what poo my pants. Want? Oh, my God. Why did I tell you that? Whatever. It's already out there. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We... Crud. We're actually maxing out confidants. It's crazy. What the dump? I thought we'd never get to this point, but it's happening. Both on and Ryuji. We also got uh, where the crud is. Here. Yeah. It's Kawakami. And now our boy Yoshida. And also, this lady we never met is ranked two. That's kind of weird if you think about it, but pfft, it ain't that big a deal. In the next episode, though, guys, we're still just waiting for Futaba to wake up. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of the low point of the game for me because, I mean, Futaba's gonna wake up. We're gonna take on Medjed with her. Right? Right? And I think she'll add a little bit to our party. That's all I'm getting at. But as always, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time with more Persona 5 Royal. Bye.